Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Not everything at the AMD booth is necessarily a product announcement of any kind, but they definitely have some fantastic demos running. Check this out. This is an 8350 processor running with a Radeon HD 7990. I'm going to go ahead and open the side panel up. I never asked for permission to do this, but I want you guys to see the configuration that's running here. So they haven't done anything crazy. This is just a graphics card and just a CPU. It's even running a stock cooler. And what they're demoing here is Crisis 3 running at 4K. So this is literally four times HD. You could have a 1080p display and it would be this much of it if you blew it up in terms of pixels. So what does 4K mean? Why do you need so much graphics hardware to run at 4K? Well, number one is you need more memory because as you increase the resolution, you increase how much needs to be stored in that graphics memory in order to display all the textures on the screen. Number two is you need horsepower. The 7990 has two full-fledged 7970 GPUs on it. That makes it a bit of a power hog and it means it kicks out a fair bit of heat. But as long as you have a gaming optimized chassis such as the Thermal Take one we're looking at right here, it's going to be able to dissipate that heat with its very unique thermal solution that actually uses three fans as well as an extremely heavy copper cooler in order to make sure that it does not overheat. So I want to show you guys that not only is it running, but we are actually getting a smooth gameplay experience. I'm going to ask my lovely assistant to come in here and be my left hand. So uh, I'm going to do mouse look you're gonna move us around and let's have a look let's see if we can kill some dudes here I don't know if I don't know if there are any dudes here but hopefully you guys get the point yeah we're gonna run around there we go so not only can you have a crisis 3 gaming experience on the 7990 at 4k resolutions but you can actually kill guys assuming that you have any aim which clearly I do not now, not every graphics solution is about running Crisis 3 at 4K. Sometimes it's for more mundane stuff. So AMD has a ton of notebooks on display in their booth. This one is the Acer Aspire V5 452. Don't mind the sign. That is a bit of a typo there, but not a huge one. This runs an AMD A10 5757M, a Radeon HD 8650 dedicated graphics card. It's got 8 gigs of DDR3, a 14-inch display. But let's get into what the APU enables. So these days, it's not necessarily about gigahertz and megahertz and caches and whatever else you want to talk about, it's about the overall usage experience. So right here what we're seeing is PowerDirector, which is OpenCL enabled, giving you previews in real time of different uh, effects that are being added to footage so that you can actually preview them in a meaningful way. Now we've seen time and time again when you try to do something like this purely with CPU, it does not deliver a watchable experience at all and you usually end up having to pre-render something just to have a look at it. The next thing right here is their AMD Vision Engine Control Center and what this does is it actually allows you to leverage the switchable graphics in a much more granular way than we've seen with previous implementations. So you can take a particular application, you can actually decide Side. I want to prioritize this for high performance, which means you're going to be teaming up the graphics core that's built into your APU and the graphics core that's built into the dedicated graphics card that's in this laptop, and you can have them work together in what used to be called hybrid crossfire, and I have no idea what they call it anymore, but the point is they work together. Don't worry too much about it. And then if you don't need that extra performance, you can throw it in power saving mode and just make use of the very, very low power consumption graphics core that's on the APU itself. Now this is something that you've probably seen a fair amount of tablets, okay, so tablets are that thing that people sort of carry around or watch videos on in their home, but we're here in the AMD booth and what you might not have seen too much of up till now is AMD based tablets. So this one right here runs an A4 1200 APU which has AMD Radeon HD 8180 graphics, 2 gigs of DDR3 as well as up to a 128 gig SSD. This is a quanta based device and the key differences between this and previous x86 based tablets before the last, well really the last few months is that you can get all day computing now and with Windows 8 rather than Windows RT now you can get what is more like what we traditionally see as, as a notebook performance experience, whether that's on the compute side or whether that's on the GPU side. So while this particular tablet has a whole bunch of sort of Windows Store loaded games on it, for example, things like uh, Jetpack Joyride, because it is a DirectX 11 based part built into the GPU here, and when I say GPU, I mean the GPU on the APU, you can actually even run games like Dirt 3 or Dirt Showdown, and AMD's quoting anywhere from around 20 to 25 FPS 
for this particular tablet. I should also probably show you the slimness while we wait for that particular game to load. It's possible I should have picked a different one as well as what we've got in terms of I.O. So USB 3 over here on the side and I don't have to kill any more time because now I can just sit here at the AMD booth where they have a whole bunch of tea on the wall behind me and I can play video games. Thank you for checking out this episode of our exclusive Computex coverage here on NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com. And a huge thanks to them for sending us here to the show so we can bring you this awesome content.